Staten Island Advance. We're here with Borough President James Molinaro in his office at Borough Hall. Thank you very much for joining us. A little bit of city policy. Both City Hall, the mayor, city council members are talking about possibly overturning term limits. Everybody had expected next year. People like right. yourself, other people, borough presidents and such would be term limited out of office. And how do you feel about the possibility of that being? And also, would you, you know, look to run again, perhaps? Well, my feeling is that uh, term limits are going to be extended. That's my feeling. I mean, they'll be they'll be extended one more term, right. twelve years. It will not be eliminated. I think the mayor made stuff very clear on that, that he would not sign any bill that does away with term limits. Extending it, he hasn't committed one way or the other, but my feeling is that it will not move in the council unless it's going to be signed by the, by the, by the mayor. Right. And uh, from what I understand for some of my friends, there's 34 councilmen ready to sign on for mm -hmm. the extension. Well, they need jobs like everybody else. I guess. Absolutely. Bad Absolutely. So I think that at this time, if I was a betting man, I would take odds, but I would take that they go to extend it to 12 years. And then you've often said that, you know, once your term was over, you wouldn't look to That's run right. for elective office again. That's but if right. the opportunity was there for you? I don't know what I would do. I, I mean, it's, uh, as I have said, that it's a year and a half to go. It, let's wait and see what, what plays out, and I'll make my decision. You're when no I'm, longer closing out. The possibility I'm not closing out. out. Any, there's no possibility I'm not closing out. Obviously, uh, if there was term limits, was it? Fine, I wouldn't fight it, and uh, I'm not proposing to extend it. But if it was there, I would have to give it some thought. Why is it that the borough of parks always seems to have political conflicts with the city uh, parks department? Well, it's not because I'm unreasonable. I'm the most reasonable person in the world. I'm, I'm, I'm reasonable to the tune of $109 million that I have given, and I wanted that on my desk, not for this interview, but the earlier part of the week to see. And I have given to the Parks Department, in my administration, $109 million. That's, that's just since 2002. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, okay? So I'm not unreasonable, you know, but I am unreasonable. Like last night, I went to the, for a walk in the, on the boardwalk again, and every light that was out, which I said almost a month ago in this office, get the lights repaired, was still out. There's, there's no maintenance. There's no, there's no upkeep. The Parks Department wants passive parks. I mean, that's the message that I'm getting. They want right. passive parks. But, right. you know, they don't want parks for people to go there and play baseball, because you know, there's maintenance. They don't want to be bothered with the maintenance. Right. They don't want to be bothered with the maintenance. So I don't know why there's all this controversy, but I am, I'm going to speak out. Because I, I've earned the right, by the amount of money that I've given to the parks, I've earned that right. right. And I'm going to do it. 